Sixth is then said to be yujin mebala yujin ki top down, to help people materially where they are poor, where they are without any help. And so it's true, I think really. I come from India uh, and therefore I see that. Is this <clears throat> Nowadays it's a little bit better because we've been talking about it so much. But a few years ago, uh, charity and being able to give to people in need from Buddhists were very little. Even if you look today, uh, because I connect myself with various charitable uh, uh, things, most of the charitable projects that are run by any Buddhist organization are actually donations received from non-Buddhists. It's not from Buddhist centers. That's a fact. And so anyone who raises funds for poor people, older people, whether it's orphanages, whether it is for any hospitals or schools or for whatever it is, Buddhists never do that because they're so busy buying Buddhist books, isn't it? <laughs> no. Buying the best damaru, buying the best bell and dorji, buying those expensive tankas, the statues, the gilded statues, making their shrines, going from one program to the other program, traveling in pilgrimages to Mount Kailash and everywhere else. But when it comes to dana, generosity, that feeds the poor people. Very seldom. There are some, of course, very good, I'm sure. But in most cases, that is there. There's one project that is called the Deutsche Tibetan Life. It's from Germany. But it has uh, about, I think, uh, 4,000 uh, sponsorships for Tibetan refugees. Out of that, there are three Buddhists in that 4,000 sponsorships. The rest are all non-Buddhists and uh, mostly Christians or atheists, those who don't have it. But simple act of kindness, they think it's a kindness. When I grew up, uh, I grew up uh, and we were of a generation that faced a lot of difficulties. And so we grew up in absolute poverty and schooling became very difficult. And so in the earlier parts, of course, uh, half of my year schooling fees was given by His Holiness 16th Kamapa and half of my schooling fees was given by Tinku Kensar Rinpoche. But after a while, what happened was um, this German, this Deutsch Tibetan Life came up with a sponsorship that would pay for my school fees, my regular English school fees. And um, it, I, was, I received this sponsorship for about six years of my schooling life. This six years was a class of three graders in Germany, third grade students, who collected pocket money and then uh, sent it to India. And that was... Uh, that's how I went to school. Another two years uh, that I went to school was by a young man in Germany again who did uh, every Saturday and Sunday he washed cars. And then he saved that money and then he sent. That's how people are. Kindness is that. Now, what do we do? <laughs> Isn't it? That's a, you have to think very carefully. Big and profound ideologies, but maybe some, many of you do a lot of acts of kindness. I, I cannot be uh, too critical at this point. But on the other hand, the, the, our view and our mind as it works, we do not and we are not able to really practice what is here said, generosity, the ethics of kindness to other sentient beings. <coughs> then seventh.